control and then you'll die. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is a server that I cannot believe that I am back on. I used to actually make videos for this server and it's called Lunite. If you guys remember, I used to stream and make videos on this server. This is the first custom server that I've actually gotten on and spent more than five minutes other than making a video and actually enjoyed it. And this is where I learned to play a custom RuneScape private server basically. So I mean, I'll go over the basics. It's a 317 custom server, and again, I, like I said, it's been in in the scene for a long time, and it's finally relaunching on the 16th of October, which I will be live as well. So ho uh, hopefully, you guys can join their Discord, which I'll put the link in the description below, and maybe I'll hop into that Discord while I'm live, and we can do like a group stream, basically with viewers and stuff. Um, so yeah, so we're going to check out this server and see what it has to offer because I, again, like I said, it's been in redevelopment for a long time and, uh, yeah, I kind of want to see what there is that's new. And of course, guys, you know that I'll never let you guys down. There's always going to be a giveaway. I love to give back to my viewers, especially for the ones that support me on a regular basis. So, if you can tell in my inventory, I have two bonds. So, two $50 bonds, and we're going to give one to two different winners. So, all you guys have to do to enter this giveaway is like this video. Comment in your in-game name. Tell me why you like either custom servers more or old-school based servers more. I like them both equally. I think they're both unique in their own ways. So that's my opinion. Um, so there's also going to be a little bit of a second giveaway. So there's a $10 launch chests. So I'm going to be giving away three of those. Uh, so one to three different people. Uh, so two winners for the bonds, three winners for the chests, which are still $10 each. So it's actually not a bad deal. So if you guys also type in refer, so refer Chris like this, you get an insane and dope starter pack. So make sure you guys do that. And it also shows the server owner that you guys came from me and that you guys want to give the server a try. All right, so let's hop into the content. All right, guys, so you guys can tell that we're at the regular home from the old Lunite. And this is the home that I definitely miss. So first off, let's check out the gear that I'm wearing. Dragon Rider, upgraded owner's cape, which is actually insane. Look at that. Uh, what else do we have? The Mega Spirit Shield, owner's aura, mega boots and mega gloves, and a collector ring and a necklace. It actually looks really sick. And as you can tell, my stats are a little unbelievable with a 265 drop rate bonus. Uh, so what we're going to first start off with is I kind of want to open some of these chests. So I think I have about 25 of those to open just to show you guys what you guys can actually get from them. I think they're very beneficial, especially in the start. And then we're going to go and check out some bosses and see what there is to do. All right, let's open up some of these chests. Alright, so let's start off with 10 and see what we can get. So the common rewards are 55% chance, uncommon 35, and very rare is the 5%. So it looks like you can get the Dragon Rider Lance, Defiled Minigun, Collector's Necklace, Supreme Attachment, Purifier Staff, Judicator Crossbow, SS Aura, $25 Bond, and an Owner's Cape Goodie Bag. So let's go ahead and open a couple up just by a uh, regular opening and then we're gonna open all and see what we get so the first thing we get is obviously a common which I think I expect to get more comments than anything alright so we actually just got a ten dollar bond okay so that's still a common um, okay that's our first uncommon reward oh what's that okay it's it's a range body mage helm oh we actually just got we got the purifier staff oh that looks sick and what are the stats on it for mage um magic 61,000 
Oh, I already have 54,000. But still, it's not a bad staff if you can get one. And uh, the last one, and we are going to get a, a Supreme Attachment. That's really cool. Alright, so let's open a couple more. Those actually open really fast, so I don't mind opening a few more. We're going to do these quick though, so I don't want to take up too much time just opening uh, boxes. Oh, we got the Collector's Necklace, which is nice. And Nether Staff. It's that corrupt maxi blood spear okay that's a medium nice not too shabby all right guys so the first boss we are actually coming to is fused zamasu let's go ahead and kill this i think we can kill it oh yeah we're gonna destroy it so we're gonna kill it and see what kind of loot we can get if we look at show drops we can see that it drops a coffin of the damned which is, these are all 1 in 4,000, which is kind of crazy drop rate, but uh, it's going to be a mass, oh shit, we actually died. <laughs> Alright, we can still continue it from where we were. So damn, I guess we can get one shot here. But it is like a, a server boss, so it's not like you would come here and solo this on a regular basis. Oh my god, he really wrecks you. That's so funny. All right, I'll, I'll come back when I'm actually about to... Alright, and we are coming up on the kill, finally. Let's see what we get. And again, remember, this is a... Ooh, we got a tormented Tentacle. Nice. But yeah, guys, that's a server boss. So, I mean, I had difficulties killing it. It took me like four tries. But, again, there will be a hundred people there just doing it because of the loot. And you guys will kill it much, much faster. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is press Control T. And it opens up this teleport interface, which is really cool. So you have all your monsters, bosses, dungeons, zones, minigames, and other teleports. So let's look at the monsters real quick. Um, all of these. So Prestige Warriors. And it shows all of your possible drops, which is nice. Ooh, bulwark from uh, Dungeoneering, I remember that. The Ice Demon, Revenants, that's really cool. Uh, so all the different bosses, Mega Avatar. Am I, I was gonna say, is that from Soul Wars? But I feel like I'm sounding like an idiot when I say that. Ooh, Eternal, that's sick. Uh, dungeons, zones, mini games, and others. Okay, these are just like city teleports, so that's handy. And then, if we go to raids two, you can get the best weapons in the game. And uh, let's go ahead and see it. All right, so the raid has started, and for some reason, it turned off my curses, which isn't a big of a deal. But I think we're just supposed to kill these different monsters that are spawning. Let's turn our auto retaliate on so we automatically attack. Uh, the good thing is, is we have uh, stacked rock tails, which is nice. Uh, we just completed teal 10, ma uh, 10 million melee damage. Oh. I probably should have protected melee. That's not a big deal. You guys kind of get the point. It's kind of just things keep respawning, and eventually you will complete the raid. All right, so this looks like the crypto mini game. So you kill these, and what do these drop? So USD coins, Ethereum, and a cash room key, which we actually have a couple cash room keys. Oh, okay, so you get cash room keys and you get to move on to the next area so every time we go through a portal it looks like there's four different zones and every time you go through a new zone you get to a new boss and the boss's loot just gets better and better which is nice so you kill these and then this is basically the best zone you can get into which gives you the best chance for the best loot 
and USD coins too has been added to my bank. And of course just the classic show around of all of the different shops that you can access. I'm not going to go through them all but you kind of get the point. Prestige Master, uh, the view of the market of the rich items, so party hats, rares, bonds, etc. And then over here it's the same thing, your Slayer stuff, your bossing, uh, Slayer dungeon, server perks. I really hope you guys decide to give this a chance. We could even do group Iron Man. I'd love to get a couple of viewers and do a group Iron Man when the server releases on the 16th, which is actually really close, guys. I'm pretty sure it's Saturday is the release, and we all got to get on here. I'll be streaming, so let's make a group Iron Man together and see how we do. All right, guys. I hope to see you in the next one.